Ariel Hawani post fight at Strike Force in San Jose alongside Cesar Gracie, who's very happy tonight because Nick Diaz and Haja Gracie look very good out there. First, let's talk about Nick. A tough first round. He rebounded very well. A great submission in the second. You know, I told Nick he's going to try to dr draw you into a street fight with this one. He wants to make it a war. Don't make it a war. What is Nick? That he doesn't care. He makes it a war from the get go. But that's why the fans love him. He's just the most exciting guy out there. So, Nick is is who he is, you know what I mean? And uh, he came out and he took the best that guy had and he kept walking through stuff and uh, he took some shots maybe he shouldn't have, you know, I wanted him to take him down, but he had, I think with Nick, you know, he wants to prove a point and uh, that's just how he is and that's what makes him so great, I think, too, you know, but yeah, I'm happy. What did you think of Cyborg's uh, performance in the first round, really attacking the lead leg? And it seemed as though he actually hurt Nick out there. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. You know, I, I figured he'd try to chop him down the way Nick stands and everything likes to box. You want to chop the legs down. But the, the thing is, is Nick works a lot with uh, kickboxers and stuff, and he's so mentally tough. I mean, if you're not going to break his leg off, it's not going to stop him. He's going to keep coming forward at you. But good strategy, yeah. Were you surprised that he took him down in the second? Uh, you know, that's... I think he got flustered. I think he realized he couldn't hurt Nick standing, and uh, he was getting hurt. And he's, he, he thought to himself, I'll take this guy down. You know, People take people down to take a breather, too, you know? And they're, they're there for a minute, and they can breathe. And, and Nick's jiu-jitsu, he's got world-class jiu-jitsu. So, you know, I know Cyborg's a black belt, but I think Nick's on another level at the black belt, you know? So, uh, yeah, he, he went to Nick's world at that point. I knew it was over, so... What happened at the end of the fight? Uh, Nick was talking to someone outside the cage. You were trying it, it was, to bring was, him back. You know what? It was actually just some drunk fans that were throwing beer into the ring. It was nothing serious. But, you know, Nick is so crazy. I just pulled him off the cage like, hey, you already did your fight, yeah. man. Don't worry about that. And a lot of his buddies took care of those guys. So it was no Were big you worried for a second we might see Nashville part two? Uh, yeah, I never want to see that again. You know, it's just I, I told Nick, this is your moment, dude. Let, let those clowns, you know, they're they got nothing going in their lives, you know, so that's why they're trying to make a moment for themselves on TV, so let it go. And it, it, Yeah, it's no big deal. Who yeah. makes sense for him the most uh, in his next fight? Paul yeah. Daly, uh, you got uh, Tyrone Woodley who says that he'd like a shot. Yeah, you know, Daly, we kind of even wanted for this fight, um, but whatever, it didn't happen for whatever reason. You know, Daly's a tough hitter. Nick is an animal, though. That's another good fight. There's so many good fights for Nick because he's a guy that's going to fight you. He's not going to try to hold you and, and win on points. That guy's there to fight, and that's what, it, that's what the fans love about him. You know? But, yeah, Daly. And then, uh, you know, there's some other stuff on the horizon. we got boxing on the horizon. I know uh, they're trying to set up Vargas. And Vargas has called him out and said he's not even UFC level. What do you think of that? Yeah, he's better than UFC level. So, Vargas, that's what shows what Vargas knows, but whatever. Yeah. Any shot that happens in 2011? Yeah, we have a contract that allows us to do a fight in 2011. We take that fight because it, it's not even about winning. You know, Nick wants to always challenge himself and, and do things. You know, it's, you go around life once, you might as well go for it. So, yeah, he'd love to do it. You know. So the next time we see Nick Diaz fight, will it be in an MMA match or a boxing match, in your that's, opinion? That's a really good question. We're going to find out probably in the next month, month and a half. Any chance you revisit the Mayhem Miller stuff, or is that done? Oh, man, you know, you, <laughs> you got Mayhem Miller is a non-contender at his weight. You know, I'm sure he's a nice guy. I don't know. But you got Nick that's a champ that delivers for the fans. And it's like, dude, cut weight, make weight. You know, it's, it's stupid. You know what I mean? You're going to take tell, tell the guy, oh, Nick, you got to go up to 185 because someone's calling you out that's not a champion and, and no one cares about it. It's like it's stupid. It's just a, more of a freak show fight. It, it doesn't make sense to me. You know, Nick said he'll fight him at any time, but really the decision's been mine. I'm like, what do you gain from that? You know, you, you fight 185. If you beat the guy, no one gives a crap. You know what I mean? It, and he would beat the guy. We're very confident about that. Nick will smash that guy. Like, hey, that guy's not even on his level. You know what I mean? So he's a big talker. He, he's got some hype talking, but he's not on Nick's level, let's be honest, you know? So, so yeah, probably not, you know? I, I heard he got cut from the next card for something, so I don't know, you know what I mean? So, yeah. And Haja Gracie? Is he ready to fight the, the top at 205 now? I mean, there's nowhere else for him to go at this point. Yeah, well, he's doing it right, though. He's taking, you know, Prangley's an experienced fighter. He's a tough guy. You know, a lot of people don't give him credit, but the guy's got a lot of experience. Very tough guy, and that was a huge step for Hajar right there. So now he goes on to the next step. And Hajar just shows that old-school jiu-jitsu, take a guy down, tap him out. You know, he's a monster. He really is, yeah. Okay, final question I have to ask. When you were on the MMA Hour, my show, mm -hmm. you said some stuff about Greg Jackson that upset uh, a lot of fighters mm -hmm. in his camp. Melvin Gillard most recently saying uh, some things about you that you don't know what you're talking about, that you're jealous of them, all this stuff. Anything you'd like to respond? It, it's one of those things, you know, I'm actually, I think Melvin's got one of the better, he's one of the better boxers in there. I've, I enjoyed his fight with Nathan, you know, I, I heard he said something like, go back to Brazil or something like that. And it's like, well, who's going to teach guys to keep choking you out if I go back to Brazil, you know what I mean? And 
you know, I didn't say anything wrong or, or bad against uh, Greg Jackson. It's just, you know, he's a good coach. He's not a great coach because the other, you know, that's just my opinion. You know what I mean? I know great coaches. I'm with them every day. I see the guys that, that you know, they, they take their art and they, they transfer it, something that it took them a lifetime to learn. When you got a guy that's not a great stand-up guy, not a great wrestler, and not a great jiu-jitsu guy, has no rank in jiu-jitsu, how, what is he going to teach you? You know what I mean? As part, of the, but as far as maybe strategy and coordinating and, and getting great coaches by him, I'm, he's very good, and there's a place for that. He's, I guess, he's great at what he does, and I got nothing. You know, that got that kind of got brought up in a different context, and that's why I commented on, on about a GSP thing or something. But I have nothing bad to say about the guy. I'm sure he's a great guy and everything, but that's just my opinion. Melvin Gillard, you know, I, I heard he was talking about some kind of homoerotic fantasies he had or something like that with me. I don't know, man go keep painting your hair it's like dude you know what are you talking about you want to have sex with a man it's like you got problems dude you know go back to brazil go back to colombia get some more coke or something man whatever so yeah all right okay, we will leave it at that congratulations on a Thank huge night caesar